Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Biz, if you're new here, welcome. If you are returning, thank you so much. We are so happy to have you here. It is Sunday the 13th when I'm recording this. Um, it's like around 2.30ish in the afternoon, so we're gonna do like a midday vlog before the sun goes down, but I've got a few things to do in the kitchen today. I'm waiting for Luca, he's right across the hall from me, over there, <laughs> waiting for him to go down for his nap before I run downstairs um, and get started on things. But I thought I'd take you along on what I'm doing today. Once he wakes up from his nap, we're gonna go for a walk. And listen here, we got ourselves the Bob stroller. We got it yesterday. Very exciting. We took it on a walk yesterday, tried it out. It's great. I absolutely adore it. Mike is, <laughs> Mike, I don't know. He just refuses to feel an absolute way about anything, so he feels okay about it. So anyway, but we are on day 14 of Vlogmas, which means that we have made it two whole weeks, which is further than I thought I would ever get because <laughs> it is challenging to come up with a video every single day for 31 days. So here we are though, we're doing it. And then once we're at the end of Vlogmas, we'll go into a more regular schedule. I'm still trying to figure out what that's going to look like or what exactly the videos I want to create are going to be two weeks in. Two weeks in, guys. Oh, thank you. I got my nails done today. Look at these Burberry-inspired nails. I thought I was going to go in and get like this chocolate cover color on them because that was really my vibe, but I've been thinking about doing like a Burberry-inspired nail for a few weeks now, so I was like, just do it. So we did that. I'm loving them. And let's pop downstairs and see what we can get done over there hopefully this is my last day my last video with a broken camera because my phone comes in tomorrow i might not get it tomorrow actually because luca has his vaccines tomorrow so he might be in a bad mood so i'm not going to force him to do anything but hopefully very soon these next videos after this will not look like they're dirty over here because of the broken camera. That'll be very exciting. Miguel and I learned our, maybe one of our first parenting mistakes with these bottles because they are starting to smell super funky and I don't really know exactly what went awry, but obviously we weren't cleaning them properly or weren't switching out the brushes enough or something. I don't know. So we're doing like a reboot, basically a start over. Fortunately, all of the nipples are like number one nipples. So he's four months old now. He needs to use the two, number two nipples. So if this doesn't fix them, we can get rid of the number ones. And if we have another baby, we'll just buy new ones because they're not that expensive. But I have been told that baking soda, baking soda, not baking powder, and hot water will help get rid of the smell. So bottle parts, I'm gonna rinse or soak them. And then I'm gonna put baking soda and have these bottles soak overnight. We're just gonna use the one bottle that we have available right now until tomorrow. Now that I'm saying that, we should probably have two bottles available for the rest of the day. And then I'll switch them out and soak those ones tomorrow. But here we go. Here's hoping this works because if I were Luca, I wouldn't wanna put these stinky things in my mouth, so. You know, he's a human being. We should do nice things for him. Just because he's a baby doesn't mean he should have to put up with garbage bottles. So hopefully this works. <laughs> Next is I like to do this egg bake um, that Mike and I can just quick grab for a breakfast. Um, and I have to roast some little red baby potatoes first that I use as the base for the bake. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut them up, season them, and then get them roasted in the oven. And hopefully those will be done by the time that we go for our walk. And then after our walk, I will finish those up. <music> Oh, 
some potatoes, I can open up my Makeup Revolution Day 14 Advent Calendar. Here we go. Have ourselves a classic black eyeliner. Can never have too many of these, which is nice because I also just ordered some more just regular black eyeliner, not like liquid eyeliner from Sephora. When I do that haul again, you'll be able to see that. Potatoes are roasted. We're gonna let them rest while we go on a walk. <music> Sunday been my gal. It's been relaxing. It's been good. Glad to hear it. Listen, ladies and gents, my gals had to listen to me complain all day about getting that first period postpartum. It finally happened and it is rough, rough. The worst thing I think that's ever happened to me. Oh, worse than childbirth. <laughs> it is worse than childbirth. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I would rather do the 24 hours of labor than go through what I've been going through the last 48 hours. It's a little bit of an exaggeration, though. Miguel, I don't think you have any room to speak on uh, such I'll things. Just, okay, okay. That was not a good enough excuse to knock it out and move our bodies. So here we are on our walk, getting through it. And that's what makes me stronger than Miguel. Because if he had his period right now, first postpartum period, he'd be on the couch dying. But I am trucking through. We got things to do. We can't just lay on the couch all day. We are back from our walk. Miguel is gonna work on doing an assessment with Luca for his four month appointment. Because they give us these long questionnaires we need to fill out of what he can and cannot do. And I am going to finish on the egg banks and then shred up some shred up some chicken and then eventually bake some cookies. And I think that is the end of my culinary duties this evening. And then around seven o'clock, we've got a Zoom call with my mom's side of the family. So we'll pop in and see who is on that call before Luca has to get ready for bed. So let's get this pop in. <music> I need these to cool down before I can put them in their container. And then they're just quick little bites to grab and go um, for breakfast. Those are chilling. We've got a mess on the stove. Plus I just made some taco meat to do some white people tacos. Necessary. I've been battling with, I really want chocolate and cookies because postpartum period. And also I don't want to eat a bunch of cookies because postpartum body. So Miguel promised to take half of them to work so I won't eat the whole thing while I'm at home this week. So bless Miguel for taking one for the team. We have ourselves a classic, just one giant cookie situation here. Chocolate chip oatmeal cookies, plus peanut M&Ms, plus regular M&Ms because we are out here wild and today. Thanks for hanging out with us while we kind of just did regular parent things. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see from us next and we will see you tomorrow in the next video. Thanks.